today at Mission Beach, and I have, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie, and are you, where are you from? Um, I lived in Yuma for almost 16 years, but I live in Sacramento currently. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Um, do you consider yourself to be a good person? Um, I think that's an interesting question. I think yes, I am. I generally am good towards others, and I think I'm good deep down, but I can also be very detached and not care about others' emotions. It's complicated is my official answer. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, great. All right, so let me ask you, have you ever lied in your entire life? Yes, I lie, not necessarily daily, but I lie for convenience quite frequently. I do too. And what do you call someone who's lied? A liar. Have you ever stolen something, taking something that doesn't belong to you, even when you were little, age doesn't matter and value doesn't matter? So when I was about four, I tried to steal a ring pop, but I didn't actually get away with stealing it, so no. It just goes to show us that our heart, huh? Our heart wanted to steal it, but you didn't get away with it. I just really wanted that ring pop. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you another question. Have you um, ever took God's name in vain? Like, yes. yes. So right now you admitted being a lying thief and a blasphemer at heart. You know, taking God's name in vain, it, you know, his name is honored and valued and it's interesting we don't go around taking Muhammad's name in vain or you know other names um, but we take the very God who created it and uses it as a cuss word what do you think about that um, I think Christianity is much more pervasive than other religions and it generally like, I mean you guys are out here doing this I think that kind of shows that it's much more of like an active kind of right. um, and I think God is also much more of a blanket term and since we do live in America it's a much more common term in some ways all right. Now, if you were to be judged on the Ten Commandments that we, we went through, three of the Ten Commandments, would you be considered innocent or guilty of breaking the Ten Commandments? Guilty, 100%. Now, if you were to die today and stand before God, would you go to heaven or hell based on the Ten Commandments? <laughs> I'm a gay atheist. I would be going to hell for sure. Thank you for your honesty. Now, would you, does that concern you, thinking about the depth of that? Just pondering it, does that concern you? No, because I personally believe if there is a God, he is, or she, or whoever was the one to put me in this situation, and my life has turned out exactly how it, it would have regardless. And so I think based on scripture, because I, I was religious for several years before I stopped being religious, um, based on scripture I think God would see me as I am rather than as the Bible that was written thousands of years ago perceives me to be. And it's great um, that you talked about the Bible being written a thousands of years ago. It's his, yeah, well it's historical and it has scientific, historical, geology, um, and prophecy that has came to play and uh, we should hold that Bible and its authority with value and worth um, alive. It's alive and um, powerful. But in that, let me uh, tell you, because you did just admit being a lying thief and yes. a blasphemer at heart. Now, if you were to go to heaven, I'm going to tell you the good news, despite the fact because it would bother me if you did go to hell. So, you know, we have a holy God in heaven, and we're sinful here on earth, but, you know, God demonstrated his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died on the cross for our sins, but not just that, he rose from the dead, and he was alive, and he walked upon the earth for 40 days, and 500 people eyewitnessed him. And so, with that, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the Bible states that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see a lot of people, they hold on to the denial that there is a God because they love the sin that they have. It's called sin, but we, we tend, 
or the culture clen tends to call it pleasure, you know, adultery, uh, fornication, drunkenness. We sometimes think it, we d can delight in it, but unfortunately there's so much consequences and hurt in the midst of sin. So I just want to tell you to, um, that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And there's no other way to heaven but through Jesus Christ. And I just want to let you know to get to heaven, you must repent, turn from your sins, and put your trust in Jesus. You know? If I may. Yes. Um, may. The only problem with all of that is that the Bible also says that hypocrites will not go to heaven and that hypocr hypocrisy is in itself a sin. And if I were to suddenly say all of that, I would be a hypocrite and I would not truly believe it in my heart because. I believe science, I believe we're a bunch of cells and then we die and maybe our energy continues somewhere and maybe it doesn't, I have no idea. And I think I love the life I live too much, I love girls, I love whatever else too much to uh, give up all I personally, because you, your beliefs are beliefs, that's fine. And I totally accept that you accept that as fact or believe that as fact, but for me, I believe what I have here and I believe what I am and what I feel inside and I'm not going to give that all up on the chance that I'm wrong because like I said I already believe. well anyways and I appreciate this yeah. but that was more thank you yes so. yes you're right thank you so much and just one more thing you know what 10 out of people 10 out of 10 people die so just um consider that there is life after death and there is a for sure things in life are death and taxes so have a good day bye-bye